Robin Hood's Bay is a small fishing village located in the North Yorkshire Moors National Park, six miles south of Whitby. In the period 1324 to 1346, there was an early reference to Robin Hood's Bay. Louis I, Count of Flanders, wrote a letter to King Edward III in which he complained that the Flemish fishermen, together with their boats and catches, were taken by force to Robin Hood's Bay. The town, which consists of a maze of tiny streets, has a tradition of smuggling, and there is reputed to be a network of subterranean passageways linking all the houses. During the late 18th century, smuggling was rife on the Yorkshire coast, and vessels from the continent brought contraband, which was then distributed by contacts on the land, and the operations were financed by syndicates, who made profits without any risks, which were taken by the seamen and the villagers. Tea, gin, rum, brandy and tobacco were among the contraband smuggled in to Robin Hood's Bay. Join me as we explore the streets of Robin Hood's Bay and the legendary Smuggler's Tunnels. Hope you enjoy. Well, here we are in Robin Hood's Bay. So we're going to have a little tour around. It's a tiny little village. And what I would like to show you is a little bit of Robin Hood's Bay and all the tiny streets that there is and cottages that are laid all over the place. I mean, look at the size of that door. It must be less than six foot. So we're gonna go down to the Smuggler's Tunnels. That's where we're heading today. Have a walk down and we're gonna go find the smugglers tunnels and what I'll do is I might stay quiet and then give you a voiceover of the place. And if you're pretty unfit, this is not the place to come because it's all hills. Uh, I believe that was the institute, the men's institute. There's quaint little shops all over the place. But the main reason I'm here is for the tunnel. This leads down to the smugglers tunnel.
Isn't this awesome? Look at the colours. So we'll have a walk through. Might get a tad wet, but you don't care, do we? I believe that this is King's Beck. Plenty of stepping stones anyway. Oops. And this, my friends, is the tunnels that they used to use when smuggling goods in here. Now this is the King's Beck that's running straight in here and round. Look down here. <laughs> that was an old mangle. We used to use these years ago. Wow, oh, and that tunnel there goes all the way around there under the houses actually. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up here, my friends. Beautiful, isn't it? I think years ago, way back in the 1700s, this place was used for smuggling in tea, coffee, and stuff like that. Well, maybe more tea than coffee. I don't think coffee was a thing back then. And I can't stand up in here. But bearing in mind, Back in the day, people were a lot smaller than I am. I'm six foot three. Wow. <clears throat> and it's pretty damn solid as well. It's not a very long tunnel, but it was used by the uh, fishermen to get coffee, not coffee, I keep saying bloody coffee, but to get tea, cotton and other stuff like that. Wow. through the village. So we're going to use the Canon camera now and we're going to have a little walk through because I need to keep one hand handy to be fair. I mean the uh, smugglers if they'd have been caught they would have been killed. The death penalty was around during that time and for smuggling you were given the death penalty. So they took a lot of risks coming down here. Um, Robin Hood's Bay is well and well and truly hidden on the North Yorkshire coast. So I thought we'll have a little walk down here, see what this cunning camera does. There's a part down here where it's very, very difficult to get across whilst filming, and 
I'm six foot three and I can't stand up in here. I'm stooped very low. And goes off somewhere and down somewhere else. We're not going to go all the way into it. And now this is fed by what's known as Dalebeck. And that goes all the way up there. Oh, and I'm going to try and That goes all the way up there, but you won't see it too good. I can see it pretty well. But what I will say is this. That is very, very low. I can't get through there. So, it's enough for me. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring these tunnels to you. And we'll make our way out now. Carefully and slowfully. <laughs> our tunnel and a half. Look at the seawalls here. Massive. And just up there is the smuggler's tunnel. Beautiful place. Wayne Wright's bar there. I think this is where uh, Wayne Wright ended his coast to coast walk in this bar and uh, threw a pebble or put a pebble in the sea. There you go, as I was saying, in 1973. Alfred Wainwright published a guide. Some of the old photos here. The old Coast Guard station. This is part of the Cleveland Way, folks. So we'll have a walk along this way. We look at this small little place here. Wow, that's one room only. It's even got a top, a little top window. Wow, that is gorgeous. It's really, really steep in the street. There's a hell of a lot here to see. And as I've been through the tunnels, so you've seen the tunnels anyway. But uh, an amazing, amazing place. Absolutely amazing. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come out here.
An interesting fact is that there's a plaque in the town that records that a brig named Visitor ran aground in Robin Hood's Bay on the 18th of January 1881 during a violent storm. In order to save the crew, the lifeboat from Whitby was pulled six miles over land by 18 horses with the seven feet deep snowdrifts present at the time, which was cleared by 200 men. The road down to the sea through Robin Hood's Bay village was narrow and had awkward bends and men had to go ahead demolishing garden walls and uprooting bushes to make way for the lifeboat carriage. It was launched two hours after leaving Whitby with the crew of the visitor rescued on the second attempt. What an amazing feat. Find your way around, around here. Robin Hood's Bay is also known for the large number of fossils which may be found on the beach. The foreshore rocks on the north side of the bay in particular are a well-known location for finding ammonites, especially after winter storms. Well we've come to the end of this video now folks and I really do hope that you, that you have liked it as much as I have enjoyed making it for you. If you did like it please leave a, a like and if you aren't subscribed, subscribe too. Until next time, my friends, take care. I bid you farewell.